Welcome to another Royal Reviewer channel episode. Ah, oh, I have got something really, really good for you. In fact, this is a video that I have really been wanting to make for a long time. In fact, I've had this box here a couple of weeks. Um, it came, I think it was something off my Amazon wish list, um, but we will see. Um, even though I know what I put on that list, I have absolutely really no idea what's what's in it. I think it's a food hamper, which is why I've kept it for a separate special video. But all I've done is just open the flaps. I haven't gone in there. I don't know what's inside. So um, I'm going to go to the chat room and see what you all think just about this box. In fact, I'll just give you a little peek. It came obviously in regular cardboard with um, fragile written on it. And when I opened it up, this is what I saw. I just saw a big black box you can see and there's a little bit of straw poking out so i instantly knew it was some kind of food package some kind of food hamper um as of yet i don't know who it's from there's no card on the top maybe there will be a card inside of course i want to say thank you to the person who got this in fact if it was you and you're here now watching please let me know um if not let me know in the comment section so that i can say thank you to you properly because obviously um, of course, I don't expect anything. This is amazing when people do donate to the channel. So thank you so, so much to whoever it is. Um, so we'll delve into this in a moment. But I want to go to the chat room and see who's there. Let's have a look. Um, so I have it set to live chat. I'm not going to read out all the names because I will. it'll take forever. But we have a lot of conversation going on already. People talking about the terrible hurricane, obviously, in America. Um, so you know, my thoughts go out to everyone who, of course, is in the path or going through that hurricane right now. Um, it's just devastating, obviously. Um, okay, if you can't hear me, please refresh. Okay, Betsy's here as well, and everyone. Okay, I'm going to open the box. Shall we open? Let's get to it. Um, I'm going to open it. So, uh, I always I thought it's going to be awkward to open, but let's have a look. Okay. I'm just going to rip the cardboard. Okay. Ah, uh, with great strength. Okay. Okay. Wow. It's a deep box. Okay. Uh, let's have a look. Is there any. Um, uh, okay. Wow. Okay. I'm going to discard this because I don't think anything's inside it. There's no, there's no notes or. Or anything in there so i'm going to pop that to one side <gasps> look at the box wow uh, let's see what you're all saying about the box uh maria can't see me oh no can you refresh um i'm just gonna uh ask okay please let me know in the comment section can you see me can you hear me just let me know <laughs> and then otherwise i won't start opening it because obviously I want my reaction to be real. Um, so let me know if you can hear me. So I'll just type, can you? Can you see me? Okay, people, keep, people can see me. Okay, some people are saying they can see a big black box, which obviously is what this is. Um, if you can't, please refresh. Okay. Wow. Oh, a little lacy tie. Shall we pull the lacy tie? Um, and by the way, I, my previous opening I did of the food hamper, I kind of pre-recorded. And I don't know, I just wanted to do this one live. I wanted to see your comments live and I wanted you to be a part of it. So without further ado, oh, let's have a look what it is. Oh, I can just see straw. <laughs> okay, I'm going to have to delve into this one. Um, okay, shall I put it over here so that you can all see? Uh, I want you all to see. Okay, yeah, that, yeah, you can see. That's fine. You can all see that. So there's a lot of straw, which I'm going to just kind of move to one. Actually, no, I'm going to put it in the box. I don't want a mess. So let's um, pop this in here. Okay. Pop the straw in, then I can put it back on top later. Wow, oh my goodness, there is um, so much stuff now. I've just uncovered it. Oh, wow, look, look, okay. Oh, my goodness, thank you to whoever it is. I don't know who it is, there's no notes or nothing. I can't say thank you to you, and I really want to. Um, right, from what I can make out, I think it's all Scottish treats again. The last hamper was a 
tiny weeny little bit of a it had some nice things in it but it wasn't terribly overly scottish um but this one looks incredibly scottish i think at first glance so let's just go and see what people are saying um hang on um okay people are saying yes they can see and they can hear me um and yes it it does Vinny seem like christmas again christmas every week uh, Beverly Millet says, you have good hand motions, but maybe I will learn to lip read. Okay. Uh, Jamie says, that was so disappointing. I thought Her Majesty herself would pop out from the box gracefully and scare you. Like this. Oof. Oh my goodness. A Majesty Jack in the box. That would be so funny. Uh, Mrs. BS79 says, wow, what a nice looking box. Marilyn can see and hear me. And Dawn says, looks fantastic, try something. I'm not going to try them today. I'm only going to unbox it and show you what they are. And then I'll do a separate tasting video because um, I, I don't think I can taste all of them now and the sweets as well in one day. That would be too much. Uh, Michelle Woodger, hello, Michelle, um, says, I finally found you. You did indeed. And you, you've come at a good moment because I'm doing an unboxing. And um, let me show you. Wow someone donated this i don't know who it is so if it was you please let me know so that i can say thank you so i'll be showing you all the products let me just take a few more comments um yes if you can't see or hear me just refresh that's fine will i be wearing the kilt soon um soon <laughs> once i've got my legs in order um seaside mom says uh, is laughing at jamie the king okay i'm going to show you some things now so let's start with <gasps> Okay, border, family biscuits, classic recipes, light and buttery, Viennese whirls. <gasps> Look, okay, let the camera focus. Okay, I'm not sure if you can see this. Okay, but they are Viennese whirls. Um, so I'm going to really look forward to trying those because I do like Viennese whirls. And at first glance, there's no olives um, or pickles, which is really, really good. Um, so I'm going to put the things that I've um, shown over here back in the box. So they look really nice. Um, and there is um some, some more cookies or biscuits, as we say in the UK. And these are border oat crumbles, raspberry white chocolate, and pistachio. Family biscuits since uh 1984. Is that an 18 or a 19? It's a 1984. Um wow, oat crumbles. Our oat crumbles are where wholesome ingredients um give in indulgent inclusions. A great big cuddle, my goodness. Um, let's hope I'll be doing lots of cuddling while I'm eating these. Wow. Okay, they look amazing. Let's see what people are saying. Okay, Marilyn says, the box looks very voluptuous. It does indeed. Um, Queen of the Bishops says, what a nice gift someone sent you. That was so thoughtful. It was. Book Princess. Oh, Mrs. BSN says, I knew Colin's comment was going to disappear. Um, I didn't get to see it because JB was really good. Book Princess says, hello, hello everyone. Didn't realise the party is here. While I am waiting for the sweet tasting. Well, I'm not going to taste today, but you'll have to wait for another video for that. Um, can I give an update on Molly? It will be in the upcoming weekly vlog. I'm currently still filming my weekly vlog, which will go out tomorrow, um, Sunday, my time, but quite late on Sunday. Um, but she's okay. But, um, but yeah, I will be updating on that. <gasps> oh my goodness, premium haggis. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, Grant's premium haggis. So it's one to four. Um, oh, okay. Maybe I'm not looking forward to trying haggis. Or maybe I am. I don't know. Um, have you ever tried haggis? Let me know. Um, but yes, it's it certainly seems very Scottish. And I've never tried haggis before. So that will be... Um, this could be my, my olives all over again. My olive moment. For I nearly barfed. Ugh. Okay. We have Orkney Thin oat, oat Cakes. Traditional whole grain oat cakes baked in Orkney. Oh, this is a really Scottish amper. Uh, Stockens, the old man of Hoy, I think that says. 100 grams of oat cakes. And I do actually like oat cakes. So um, I will actually, of course, look forward to properly eating those because I do like oat cakes. We also have 
Um, Oakham Aaron, I think it's an isle, the Isle of Aaron. Fine foods, whole grain mustard. Okay, I'll have to decide what I try this with. A delicious whole grain mustard, truly unique and delightful, with roast meats, uh, oh, for, with, on, with, with roast meats, burgers, or in a salad. Okay, I'm gonna have to try that. Um, wow, okay, so there we have the Aaron mustard. Not Aaron's mustard, Aaron mustard. Wow. Cool. I will look forward to trying that. And um, okay, they like their oat cakes, don't they, in Scotland? We have some more oat cakes. Um, Patterson's or Paterson's, traditional with a twist, triangle oat cakes, 2.1% saturated fat, wheat free recipe, high in fiber. Well, we all need a high in fiber diet, don't we? Um, great Paterson's taste containing whole grain oats and some flour oil, free from palm oil, so orangutan friendly. Wow, okay. Um, they've all got long dates on them, by the way, as well. So, I hope you can see some more oat cakes. Wow, <laughs> wow. I can't believe all this food. I'm gonna have to have a massive tasting session. Oh, some more border family biscuits, but these ones are classic recipes. Light and buttery chocolate chip shortbreads. Well, um, I do like shortbreads, but I'm hoping you can see the really light packets are kind of reflecting on the um, on the light, but they are well. You'll see them when okay, that's better. You'll see them when I do the tasting video, because uh, of course I will show you the whole thing. But they look delicious too. Let's take some more comments. Okay, where did I get to? Oh, people are commenting on haggis. Oh no, um, and I've got stuff stuck to me. Uh, Ray says, "Lovely box." Maya says, just logged in very unexpectedly. Well, I don't normally do it on a Friday, do I? Uh, Margaret says, dearest Elliot, do you mind telling us what kind of tea you were drinking? Um, was it Twining? I can't remember the make of it. It was Twinings and it, it was bur Bergamot. Um, was it Twinings or something else? I can't remember. I will bring the box and I will show you tomorrow, Saturday, when I'm live. Um, Marina Montez is back and can see me. Dion says haggis terrifies me. It might be terrifying me as well afterwards. Uh, Michelle Wooder is crying with laughter, as you do. Um, Mrs. BSNC9 says, oh good, glad to hear Molly is better. Um, she is. Jamie says haggis, oh boy, I can't wait for the tasting. Well, I can't. I'm gonna give the haggis a black fan flap before I've even got to try it because I'm anticipating that I don't like it, but I will try it. Uh, just like the olives, I will try. And the, the pickle that I tried that was completely gross and nearly made me gag. Um, Seaside Mom says, bin the haggis. <laughs> yes, I have a, a Robbie Burns party. Once it's mandatory to be called a royal lover. I'm going to have to try it. Uh, Diana says, what is haggis? Uh, you don't really want to know. But um, yeah, it's usually wrapped in, what is it, sheep's intestines? And it's all the kind of meat and offal and all that kind of stuff. Um, a Betsy's barfing at Haggis. David Soriano Garcia is saying, I have to leave to save battery for my phone and charge it in case the power goes out in New York City. Uh, or North Carolina, is that? NC, what's that? Is that North Carolina? Uh, Seaside Mom says, Diana, stuffed stomach line. Yes, it is. It's disgusting. Mrs. BS NC9 says, I just Googled it. A Scottish dish consisting of a sheep's or calf's offal mixed with suet oatmeal and seasoning and boiled in a bag, traditionally one made from the animal's stomach. Uh, bar. Um, Jamie says, traditional, but with a twist. I think we found a new channel slogan. That's definitely me, traditional, but with a twist. Uh, Maya says, oh, glad to hear Molly's okay. Sweet Serenity says, I look marvelous. Thank you so much. It's the jacket that was donated. Um, it's lovely. And I'm gonna show you the tails. I didn't really show you the back of it last time, did I? Um, wow, look at the tails on it. It's a beautiful coat. Look at it. Um, did I just give you a booty shot? Oh no. At least it wasn't a booty call. Okay, Lauren Walker says they're amazing. Okay, they are indeed. Um, Diana says that doesn't sound too appetizing. It doesn't, does it? It sounds pretty gross. Kuala Lumpur says um, Duchess of Cambridge herself says hello. Well, hello to you, Catherine. Margaret says, God bless you and stay safe to David. And yes, if you're watching, please give this video a big old thumbs up. It lets YouTube know that you're enjoying it. Maya says, tried haggis with tatties and neeps. 
as it is traditional. It was very nice. Diana says, I love you for trying things even when you don't think you will like it. I'm a trier. If nothing else, I'm a trier. DD Go Lightly says, greetings from Germany. Now I am really hungry and a huge craving for cookies. I've got lots of cookies and shortbreads. Um, Kendall thinks Haggis is great. Um, NC does mean North Carolina. Uh, Maya says, Isle of Arran is off the west coast of Scotland between the Mull of Kintyre and the mainland. See, I knew it was an isle. I knew my geography wasn't too bad. Uh, Michelle Wood says, black fan flap howling here. Um, yes, well, let me explain to Michelle because I actually know Michelle from real life. So um, those of you who already watch my channel will know that a, ba a black fan flap means something I don't like or fake news. It's usually a fake news fan flap. So whenever I hear fake news, we get a fake news fan flap. Um, then I had a yellow fan, which is good news, happy news, things that I like. So that gets um, a happy fan flap. And any kind of hot news, breaking news, sensational news gets a red fan flap. There we go. This one's not as, it's still a bit sticky. I need to, I need to flap this one a bit more. Uh, it's still a bit sticky because it's, it's the newest fan. So those are my fans, my color coded fans. Who says I don't do color coding? There we go. Uh, Marilyn says, I'm expecting the same reaction as the olives to the haggis. Possibly. I don't know. Uh, it could be liver, because I quite like the taste of liver, but I never eat it because it's a liver. Ugh. So it could be that situation all over again. Carol Goddard says, North Carolina, millions have been evacuated as Carolinas are experiencing the worst storm hurricane in the history of the United States. It's all over the telly. Yeah, I'm, I'm sending out my, my prayers and thoughts to, to everybody who's affected by this terrible disaster. And I hope the aftermath of it, you know, is, isn't is anywhere near as bad as it was um, for previous disasters, because of course it's the aftermath with the flooding and all that kind of thing that can often cause the most destruction to the actual initial hurricane. Um, Sweet Charity says, welcome Michelle. Elliot's beloved by us. Thank you. I don't deserve that, but thank you. Uh, Marilyn Blythe says, hello everyone from Amalfi in Italy. And Beth says, Ingrid, don't be a Debbie Downer. Okay, let's see some more things. Um, more oat cakes. I'm going to be oat caked out. Uh, <laughs> cream, Orkney cheese. I thought you said crinkly cheese then. Ork, Orkney cheese oat cakes. Stockings. Traditional whole grain, whole grain oat cakes baked in the Orkneys. Wow. We have some Orkneys going on here. So I will have lots of oat cakes to try. Then we have, ah, oh, shortbreads. I do like shortbreads. Uh, Paterson's again, I think it is. Delicious shortbread, fingers. Well, who doesn't love a finger? Established in 1895, celebrating 120 years. Melt in the mouth shortbread. Wow, I love a melt in the mouth finger. Don't, don't even get me started. Okay, these are lovely, look. <laughs> it's almost... <laughs> This is almost bringing back the beaver situation. Um, I have to show my cushion. Keep calm and love beavers. Isn't it good? Okay. <gasps> tablets, um, but not the sort you type on. Uh, Lee's Scottish tablet. What's a tablet? Scottish tablet made to the traditional Lee's recipe. A tablet? What on earth? What on earth is a tablet? Um, I have no clue. Can you even see? Okay, what on earth is a tablet? Answers on a postcard. Um, okay, I'm going to go back to the questions. Okay, the comments rather. What on earth is a tablet? Kelly Black says, I love your vlog. How is Molly? I will update you in the new vlog. Uh, Leah is off, has to go. And um, Allegna says, any fake news? Just listen to a fake YouTube channel about Charles showing Camilla the door. Please give it a black flam flap. Well, I don't even need to, to see it to know that it's a big fake news flam flap for that, I think. Oh no, I've lost my commas. Okay, they're back. Um, let's have a look. Okay, Allegna says, uh, love Elliot's YouTube chat. Even though it's not about the royals, he is bonding with us. Well, it kind of, it's Scottish. The Queen is in Balmoral. There is a link. I've linked it. 
I can link anything. Uh, Margaret McCulloch says, oh, talking to Ingrid. Uh, Keonti Kent says, did you mention Harry's birthday? It's tomorrow. Um, I'm going to do a video on that that will be out tomorrow, so I won't mention too much about it. Wendy says, love everything Elliot does. Thank you so, so much. Okay, let's, um, no one commenting on the tablet, so I presume no one knows what it is. So that will be, I think, the most intriguing thing, actually, because I don't know, I don't know what one is. Uh, then we have a Lee's Raspberry Coconut Ice. Raspberry flavoured fondant with coconut covered in dark chocolate. Wow. Okay, that does actually look really nice. I do like chocolate. I do like fondant. Um, so, yeah, I am looking forward to trying that one. That will be quite a good one, I think. Okay. Oh, is this tea? Oh, wow. Okay, tea. Uh, tea and coffee. Edinburgh Company Limited. Scottish breakfast tea. Ten tagged and enveloped tea bags. Um, again, I love a good tea bag. Teas from Assam, Ceylon and East Africa brew a rich golden tea with strength and liveliness to waken the taste buds. Well, I certainly need wakening. My taste buds definitely need awakening. Um, I think that's probably the best image to show you, I think. Let's, let's focus. Are we going in? Okay. If I do that, maybe you can say. Um, so, yes, teas. I like teas. That will be my tea for the tasting video. Let's just close a window that's just popped up. because I don't want that open. Okay, two more things. I th oh, no, there's more things hidden underneath. Okay. Um, golden oat crumbles. Classic recipe. Okay, I've got lots of biscuity things to try. So what I'm probably going to have to do is get a cookie jar and put all the ones that I haven't eaten from the tasting section into a cookie jar so that I can carry on eating them. Um, more cookies. Divinely chocolatey cookies. Um, again, by Border. Okay, so divinely chocolatey. Um, I do like chocolate. Okay. Oh my God, this thing is packed. Okay, there's like another layer. Oh, it's double layered. My goodness. Wow. Okay. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. The heavy stuff is at the bottom. Um, McKay's Dundee Orange Marmalade made with the whole fruit. Wow. Okay. Marmalade. I like marmalade. Um, there we have the McKay's um, Marmalade. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Another one. Scottish Raspberry Preserve. My goodness, I'm gonna have to bake another cake and put these in. Wow, um, these look delicious actually. Um, I really look forward to tasting these. Um, to make our delicious raspberry preserve, we use only the finest Scottish raspberries grown in the berry fields of the eastern Scotland. Wow, the berry, I didn't even know Scotland had berry fields. Okay, oh, more chocolatey thing. What's this? Fudge. Scottish fudge, Scottish fudge made to, made to the traditional Lee's recipe. Ah, oh, fudge. Just think of the person that packed it. Okay. <laughs> More jack. No, it's not. Sun-dried tomato and smoked chili. Oh, I'm not too keen on smoked tastes, actually. Um, maybe not looking forward to that one. Sun-dried tomato, but I do like sun-dried tomatoes. Okay, this one will be interesting. And it's a chutney. So um, yeah, that will be rather interesting. Let's take some comments. Now that I've shown a few things. Uh, let's go back up the comments section a minute. Uh, Sweet Trinity says, love seeing you today. Lane likes fondant and she's given me a lovely bow. Um, James Med4 says, I love all the British information. A great help for my first trip in the future. Ingrid says, Elliot, you know I adore you. Just watch the way your channel may be headed. Kathy G says, talk about Eugenie's wedding. We'll talk about that tomorrow in my live chat. There'll be lots of Eugenie talk. In fact, she updated some, some details, so go watch that video. Um, Margaret says, after watching this and uh, uh, the unboxing, is anyone else thinking about checking out Amazon and ordering one for themselves? This box, I think, is well worth it. I mean, there's, there's still more things in it. Um, Astrid loves Cocoa Nut. Stacey Johnson loves the, loves the channel. Um, Diana loves the way the channel's going. Angel says, hi, I haven't talked to you in a long time. How's everything going? 
Great, thank you so, so much. Um, Dion says, Elliot, your channel just gets better and better. Thank you so, so much. Uh, people saying more haggis? No, no more haggis. Uh, Marilyn is drinking uh, Twining Prince of Wales tea. Sweet Serenity loves the marmalade preserves. Um, Maya J says, Tablet is a kind of Scottish fudge. Very sweet. Okay, well, we'll I'll be tasting that. Uh, Diana says, how would you eat hot tomato thing? Um, I'd probably just taste it raw just to see what it's like. Um, Margaret says, Marilyn, thank you for answering that question about the tea. How fun. I'm drinking English breakfast myself. Uh, Maggie thinks it looks delicious. And I will I will do the tasting video um, maybe next week. Yes, probably, probably, probably next week. Pam G says, hi, what a great surprise. Sorry, I'm late. Don't worry. Um, Marilyn says, Ingrid, there is no pressure for anyone to purchase anything on the wish list. It's for fun and giggles. Um, exactly. Just watching the videos is enough. It really is. Kuala Lumpur says, Elliot, let's also say love, hugs and peace to all the USA affected by the evacuation events. We already have, but of course, I will say it again. My thoughts go out to everyone affected. Okay, Ingrid says it's 2 p.m. here in Los Angeles. That is a very nice box where they sent that to you. I don't know who it's from, so I can't say thank you, but um, please make yourself known. And of course, I will say thank you. Um, shall we open? Well, not open, we'll reveal some more things. Let's have a look. Oh, another jar. Okay. Oh, caramelized red, red onion marmalade with chili. Okay, this sounds interesting. Um, I look forward to trying that one. Wow. Um, okay, I have no idea what that one is like, but it, it's it's all made in Scotland. Uh, the batteries are made in Scotland, it says. Um, wow. All I've got to say is wow at this box. This really is a, a gift box and a half. Okay, there's more. Okay, I'm, I'm literally rooting through the straw. Look, um, another jar. Tomato and red pepper chutney. Okay, I like this. Um, ultimate versatility in salads or sandwiches with meats or cheese or even pasta. Ideal. <gasps> wow, look at that. Um, wow, I can't get over this box. It really is amazing. I'm running out of room to put stuff. And there's still more in here. There's still a lot more. <gasps> Chili jam. I think I've got the whole McKay's range. Or Mackey's, whatever it is. McKay's, Mackey's. Um, wow, chili jam. Who knew? Who knew you could have chili jam? Wow. Um, there's more. Can you believe it? <gasps> Pineapple and ginger preserve. Mrs. Bridges. Um, preserving tradition. And look how cute that is. Look. Okay, that's cute. That is really cute. This little, little hat on. Um, wow pineapple and ginger uh, i look forward to trying it wow 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 my goodness there's more um pots recipes for happiness well we like to be happy pots honey mustard and cold pressed rapeseed oil british dressing dressed to impress dressings reinvented for today's more discerning tastes and given a twist take your food to the next level well let's 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 take our food to the next level. Why not? I think we most definitely should. And I look forward to doing that. Shake well before opening. Okay, I've got to remember to shake well before opening. Um, wow. I'll have to get some salad to try it with. Um, there's more. Uh, is this the last thing? I'm just, I'm just poking it down to see what else. Is. Okay, I think this is the last item. Okay. Um, pear and plum chutney. Soft pears and deep red plums create a sweet chutney that delivers a fruity punch. Well, we do like a fruity punch on this channel. Um, all I've got to say is, oh my goodness, thank you so, so much to whoever donated this box. And there we go, the, the empty box. Wow, what a journey of discovery that was. Um, Michelle says, that chutney sounds well lush. I think it is. Um, I've had lots of different chutneys. Astrid says, bon appetit. Um, Angel says, Meghan Markle, Meghan Markle is not pregnant at all. It was the ruffles. She was wearing a dress with ruffles. It made her look pregnant from the side, but it wasn't. It was just ruffles. 
and she won't get pregnant before she goes on her tour because Fiji carries a slight risk of Zika. So there we go. Um, Michelle said that's one monster hamp, uh, one monster hamper, not monster hamster, monster hamper. Uh, Ingrid says, Elliot, I'm getting so anxious for Harry and Meghan Markle to have a baby. What do you think? Uh, well, I'm hoping they'll get pregnant maybe after Fiji, perhaps. Marilyn says, what a great box. Whoever sent it to you, a big thank you from the rest of the channel. I'm going to give whoever sent this a big, massive yellow fan flap because what an amazing box. Wow. I am absolutely astounded. I really am. Um, DD Golightly says, so maybe Haggis isn't as bad as I always thought or as I've heard should try it. Well, I'm going to try it for you so you don't have to, uh, but please do. Um, and yes, I've seen, I made a video once on um, Harry looking like Prince Philip, and he does. It's almost like he did time travel. Um, are they kosher? I don't know. Do you mean kosher as in um, religion kosher or kosher as in they're not dodgy? Because in the UK, we say if things aren't kosher, they're a bit dodgy. Um, but they're def definitely not dodgy. Uh, okay, lots of lots of questions I've probably missed. But if you if it was something important that I've missed, please type it again. Um, Betsy says, you have enough treats to throw a nice cocktail party. I do indeed. Wow. It truly is amazing. I can't believe all the different things I've been sent. It truly is amazing. Um, Okay, I think that's the unboxing done. I'm going to go away for about five minutes and then I'm gonna come back with the next video, uh, which is going to be trying some of the, the big massive haul of American candy or sweets as we say in the UK, which, which I opened last week on my live chat. So I'll be selecting a few of those, maybe 10 different sweets, it's a massive bag, and I'll be trying those. So do go onto that video and uh, join me in about five minutes time. So don't forget, after this video um, ends, it will go on my main channel, so you can catch up if you've missed anything. But also, leave this chat room. You will need to go into a new chat room for my next video. Um, so I'm going to leave it here for now. If you have enjoyed this video, then please give it a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to share on social media and also hit that notification bell so that you know whenever I upload a new video. So from me in Shropshire, goodbye.